Hi, it's Kara Brockmeyer with your 90 seconds of wisdom. So I am trying to um, explain some of these new changes that came out with Secure uh, 2.0 Act that passed at the end of 2022. Um, there's a lot of information and um, most of it might not apply to you. I wanted to share information that I thought are great planning opportunities for my clients and my friends. Um, and today I'm going to share one about 529 plans. So I've heard quite a few times clients say, all right, that's great. Let's open a 529 plan. And then they say, wait a minute, what if my child or, you know, whoever the beneficiary is for that college savings plan doesn't use the money. And, uh, you know, a lot of times you can transfer it to somebody related to them or take the money out and pay a penalty, things like that. Now it's expanded where starting in 2024, up to $35,000 of unused 529 monies can actually be contributed to a Roth IRA in the name of that 529 beneficiary. So this is a great opportunity for those people who are nervous, like what if my child gets a scholarship, da, 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 um, things like that. And they don't think they're going to use this money that they've saved all these years. So like parents, grandparents might consider overfunding 529 accounts, just knowing that any unused amount could actually jumpstart retirement savings into a Roth IRA for that beneficiary. So just wanted to throw that out there. Um, have a great day. 90 seconds.